What's up everyone, my name's Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys at Razer, we're taking a look at their new Naga Trinity gaming mouse. First of all though, roll on that intro. So, as I said guys, I got in contact with the people at Razer and I said to them, what's the chance of trying out some of your products giving them a review? They were quite happy and sent me over the Razer Naga Trinity. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, why am I watching this? The Naga is a pure MMO mouse. It's got oodles of buttons on the side and it's not meant for me. But wait there, don't go away. Do watch this video because you're going to realise something very, very important soon. As the reason as to why I have literally fallen in love with this mouse and I don't think I'll ever use anything different unless Razer place this with a v2 so the razor naga trinity now the naga trinity the nagas from razor have like i said always been mmo mouse nice they've always had a bundle of buttons on the side and they were pretty much designed for people playing wow league of legends things like that not really designed for playing fps games but that's where things get interesting i'm actually going to start off with the most important point about this mouse at the start okay and that is these little side panels you can see there's two extras included you have your traditional 12 button naga you then get a seven button and then you even get a two button fps version basically so you've got your fps or daily windows mouse whatever seven buttons in a circle quite cool and then your full 12 and what I really like about it as you've noticed as I've changed this the colors have changed straight away what it is it knows which side panel it's got there's loads of contacts as you can see here and it knows which one you put on and the profile automatically changes to match the side panel you've put on so it you don't have to then be messing around with software to choose what you have assigned now when you first plug this in you've literally just got one to twelve one to seven and then your typical backwards forwards as you normally have in windows but that's where things get interesting you can go into the razor software and change all of that get a bit into that later on though we're going to go back to looking at the actual mouse so as well as the side buttons and the three options you have we have on the top here two as standard setup is dpi switches a clicky scroll wheel which I also found clicks left and right so you have scroll and then you have click now I personally didn't like the rock I found myself accidentally rocking on this while in game I simply programmed it up not a problem and then on the other side no more buttons just sort of a pinky grip this this sort of mouse it is a palm mouse you do sort of fill your hand with it I liked it um, it took a bit of getting used to I must admit it's not my normal kind of mouse but I got on really well with it the build quality of the actual mouse is very good nice nice weight not too heavy a good sort of eight foot braided cable or braided end to end the side panels are rubbered I have found that they do sort of attract your dust and stuff but it's not a major problem and that's really about it for the mouse if we flip it over couple of wear pads as it's pretty standard and a profile button and basically as you press the button you can assign profiles to the mouse you can see the little LED here changes color to go with the profile you've selected so you can either set up the profiles specific to the mouse that means you can then basically plug this mouse into any computer and the button maps etc save to the mouse or you can install the Razer Synapse software and then you can then control it with the app and you can choose what profile you want to go with which game so you automatically open a game or program profile auto switches great tool so we've really we've covered the mouse there's not a lot in the box in the box you basically get a mouse and an instruction book but hey it's a box who really cares these are the bits that matter and like i said the important thing to always remember with mice like this out of the box it's a bit naff it really comes to life when you install that Razer Synap software. With that Razer Synap software, you can control all of the RGB for the two zones. So you can change the logo, change the scroll. You can control the DPI settings. You can you can choose what settings for what levels. You can change all of that. You can change the maps for every single button. 
No button on this mouse has a fixed use. You can change it to be whatever you want it to be. Obviously, it is a right-hand designed mouse. It will be no good for a lefties, but you could effectively change the left and right click round anyway if you wanted to. Like I said, RGB is all controlled. All the map buttons are all controlled. You can then set it up to open different profiles to go with different apps. So I had one app for playing Counter Strike, a different app, uh, different map set up for uh, using DaVinci Resolve, the editing software I used. And the moment I opened the app, I had different colors set and it automatically changed. So I had a visible indication I knew what the mouse was doing. So I think that's really about everything to cover with this mouse. Basically, it's conclusion time. Now, I'm actually going to give this mouse a whopping great big platinum award. It is the best mouse I've ever used, purely because of the fact it is so useful, really. You can do anything with it. It is not, it's not the old Naga, which was useless for playing Counter-Strike with. But then again, it is not the out-and-out -out Counter-Strike mouse that is useless for playing well with. I think Razer have done a really, really good job of imp implementing this system. It is seamless, it is easy to use, you can't go wrong. The only thing you could mess up is losing one of these. And you've got to be a bit of a plonker to manage that. So, there we go. The Razer Naga. Sorry, the Razer Naga Trinity. Now, I'm going to put some links down below. It is a £90 mouse, but I don't hold it back because you pay nearly that for a good mouse. And what you've basically got here is three mice. So, I'm going to put some links down below in the description as to where you can buy one and as always guys if you liked my video give us a thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down let me know in the comment section and as always if you want to come back and see more of me and me reviewing stuff click that subscribe button on that note bye for now